Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Lead Coding. I am your host Faraz and on this channel I upload content related to your coding interviews. So this is the series which I am making for interview preparation and this is the assignment question of the binary search. So I think if you haven't tried this problem you should first try it by yourself and if you come up with a solution it is well and good and if you get stuck and if you want to know the optimized approach you can continue watching the video alright so let us see the problem statement first also before moving forward if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel also if you don't want to miss out the notifications as I frequently upload videos hit that bell icon as well okay so the question statement is we are given a non-negative integer x return and compute the square root of x so let us say we are given 4 so the square root of 4 is 2 we have to return 2 if we are given 8 the square root of 8 is 2.8284 something so we just have to drop all these digits which are after the decimal point so we just have to return the integer integer part that is 2 now let us try to solve this problem I am taking 64 as an example here so this is my x now I need to find the root of this number obviously it is 8 we know that but how can we go about solving this so for that let me write this equation y I have to find this y this should be equal to under root of x and to be more precise we can drop the decimal places so um, we should write it like this y is smaller than or equal to root of x okay I have to find the largest y that is smaller than or equal to root of x if I uh, take squares on both sides it will be y square smaller than or equal to x now x is given to me I just have to find the value of y and how can I find the value of y so I can use a linear search here I can try putting y equal to 1 then 2 then 3 and so on till the time this condition is satisfied okay so if I put y equal to 1 this would be 1 smaller than equal to 64 condition is satisfied here then 2 if I put y equal to 2 then it will be 4 so 4 is smaller than equal to 64 again the condition is satisfied then um, if I put y equal to 3 then it will be 9 so 9 is also smaller than equal to 64 again the condition is satisfied the condition won't be satisfied when y is equal to so till y equal to 8 okay that is 64 this condition will be satisfied now this condition will be violated as soon as I reach 9 so 9 nines are 81 81 is not smaller than equal to 64 so here the condition failed okay so this is not the solution and the largest that we could reach is 8 the largest y that we could reach is 8 so this is the answer right similarly if I have 65 instead of 64 so here I have a 65 instead of 64 then I can just uh, do the same steps 1 is smaller than equal to 65 then for 2 also then for 3 also till 8 so 64 is uh, 8 is a 64 64 is smaller than equal to 65 and as soon as I reach 9 81 is not smaller than equal to 65 so I will stop here and I will return the previous value that is 8 so this is a simple linear search solution let me um, just represent how can we solve this so I will start phi is equal to 0 here why I am starting from 0 because x could be 0 as well so I am starting with y equal to 0 while this y into y is, is smaller than or equal to x the same thing this is exactly the same thing that we write uh, in the solution there on the whiteboard so till that time I can do y plus plus and finally I can return y minus 1 right so let me just try to submit this like this was a really short and uh, simple solution alright I wanted to demonstrate this as well here we are getting the signed integer overflow error so basically this number it exceeded the limit of integers so what do you have to use instead of integers here you have the option to use long long okay so you can use long long instead of int and this is how you can remove this error so it got accepted and what do you think the time complexity of this solution is and the space complexity we can clearly see that we are not using any extra space instead of just creating these variables so the space complexity is constant yes it is true the space complexity is constant that is big O of 1 what about the time complexity so we are given x okay and we need to find a y 
and y should be under root of x it should be uh, smaller than or equal to under root of x so I'm starting with y equal to 0 and I'm going till the point this condition is satisfied so basically I'm going from y equal to 0 to under root of x so the time complexity will become big O of under root of x this is the time complexity now I want to do better than this I want to do something better than this so as I mentioned that I'm using a linear search to search the solution first I'm going to 1 then I'm going to 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 and so on so instead of doing that why don't I directly search something at the middle okay so maybe the example is again same that is uh, 65 so I will just look at this element that is 4 and I will see what's the square of 4 it is 16 and it is much smaller than 65 so anything before the number 4 is not the answer for sure so 3 is not the answer 2 is not the answer and 1 is not the answer so I'm just going to discard this entire part and I won't search it again so the benefit to search directly at the middle is that I won't have to search the previous parts so I'll just search to the right hand side of this so this is the um, this is the logic for binary search right you must have seen the videos of binary search in this series as well I have explained there very clearly how to think in terms of binary search and how to uh, recognize that this question could be solved using binary search so if you haven't watched those videos make sure that you watch those videos those are really informative and I have covered everything related to binary search in those lectures so after that you will find this question very easy alright now let me just code this using binary search as well so for that I'll be using um, int start is equal to 0 int and is equal to uh, what should I take and be um, how how far can we go we can go till 2 raised to the power 31 okay so I will have to take it s and e as long long here let me take this as int max ok now while s is smaller than or equal to e again long long mid or maybe m this should be equal to s plus and minus s divided by 2 if m into m is uh, smaller than or equal to the given number x then in that case the answer is equal to m and as this is the possible answer but I will try to um, increment but I will try to look something more than this right so is uh, so if this condition is satisfied I won't stop here I will actually uh, try to find out the maximum m that satisfies this condition so for that I will do s is equal to m plus 1 otherwise I can uh, simply do n is equal to m minus 1 so this is the case when um, this condition is not satisfied okay so when this condition is not satisfied I will have to come to a lower value of m so for that I'm doing n is equal to m minus 1 finally I can just return the answer from here let me just make the answer answer as 0 let me try to submit this maybe uh, I'm not taking any integers so no case of yeah it got accepted so basically what is the time complexity for this solution in the last time it was under root of x right big O of under root of x because we were going from 0 till under root of x uh, we were going to each of these elements one by one now we are using log of this as we are using binary search so it will be log of under root of x with a base 2 this is the uh, complexity of this solution which is much better than this one right so this is how you solve questions using binary search once you find an algorithm that an intuition that you could solve this question using a linear search then you can try and look that if you can use the binary search as well also how are we able to use binary search let me just explain this thing as well so uh, here this is the uh, x square so the graph goes like this right so as soon as we uh, reach a point like let's say here and if you know that this point is not the solution 
this point is not the solution and we know that this point is giving us something less so the solution may be somewhere over here so you can just discard this part we can just discard and try searching in the uh, solution which is after this on the right hand side of this particular point okay and vice versa here so if you find out that this part is actually big so this is not the solution and it is giving something more than what we require so this part is also not going to give me the answer because it will give me something more than this point obviously so I can just discard this I can uh, reduce my search space to this part so because this was an increasing function the x square was an increasing function we were able to use binary search here it is not that complicated thing in terms of binary search you just need some practice so for that we are solving a lot of questions here alright so you might try the three problems which are left from this particular assignment maybe in future I will give some more questions from binary search and arrays as well but as of now these are a few questions that you should solve and then move forward to the next topics thanks a lot guys for watching the video and if you got to know something new from this video make sure to hit that like button as well and leave your comments thank you